Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here. Welcome to some gameplay of the Homestead Miami Speedway, so the new track in the NASCAR expansion for Forza 6. So first off, we are going to do the Speedway Circuit, which features in the NASCAR series. So as you can see here, a new, uh, new feature with the new update of this month is first off here, the rolling starts. And also you can see the, the proximity arrows around the back of the car. This is very useful for NASCAR, so you just know exactly where the cars are behind you uh, or how close they are behind you and which direction. It should actually be very useful for the online gameplay, um, not just in NASCAR but in other modes as well. So I'm going to go into cock uh, cockpit mode here for a bit. So yeah, that uh, option, it, well it's an option, it's optional, you don't have to turn it on if you don't want, you can turn it off or on depending on your preference. So that's just one of the extra uh, changes on this update. So this track itself, 1.5 miles, of course it's in Miami. The turns here, uh, just two turns, um, 18 to 20 degrees the turns at their peak. Um, the, the track is a fairly short one compared to, let's say, Daytona and Indianapolis, the other two ovals on the game, um, fairly short. The, the lap record is only about 24 and a half seconds, I think it's 24.46 set by Sam Hornish Jr. So it's quite a short lap time. Uh, I'd imagine Daytona and Indianapolis are slightly longer than this one. Uh, so I am driving the Chevrolet uh, here, the McDonald's sponsored one. All of the cars in the expansion pack are tuned, or they're stock tuned, to 833 PI. All of them are the same. Uh, all of them have the same PI. And at the moment there's only one lobby for multiplayer, I believe, which is just NASCAR endurance around a various range of tracks fairly long laps of, or fairly long races about 15 laps not just ovals though around other tracks as well so I'll be getting myself into a couple of those if you want to check out my races then by all means do subscribe for more content like this so in just a moment we are going to complete this lap and I'm going to cut towards the end of the uh, the race and I can show you another feature of the recent update in the game so this um, expansion pack cost me £16 in the UK, I believe it's $20 in the US. So we're going to cut to the end of the race here, uh, lap, the end of lap 9 as we come into the second turn. So this is the new one of the new features as well, the quick stop mode. So we're going to dive into the pits. Now it's basically the same pit stop as before but it's a little bit more detailed so as you can see in the middle there is showing you all of the other races as the dots um, so you can see exactly where you're going to come out as you do leave the pits just a little bit more detailed than before this is very crucial in NASCAR because you're going to have to slot out in front of other cars and it will show you on the exit so as you can see there cars coming back around it will tell you if you're going to come back out in traffic so it says they're approaching traffic as I do come back out across the track luckily there was no contact and there we go, around the outside goes the ra uh, race leader. So, that is um, a quick overview of the Speedway circuit. Uh, not a very long circuit, just 1.5 miles. Um, be interesting to see this race, uh, this track online. I'll, I'll try and get myself into a couple of races around here. As we come around the final turn now, we are going to complete this race in last after pitting. No one else pitted. So we will go to the road course as well. So this isn't just an oval. There is a road course as well. I don't think Turn 10 would put in just an oval into a track. It has to have an infield as well. Just like Daytona and Indianapolis do. I don't think they'd put in just an oval on its own. So here we are. We are going to go to the road course here. Um, there are quite a few configurations for this circuit. But we're going to do the road circuit in the rain. Just to see exactly how these cars handle going to change the car here to the Ford, uh, the Team Penske Brad K Fusion Ford. So here we go once again with a rolling start as we go off the line. Now the first laps around any track in the wet is mainly determining where the puddles are, which of course you really do want to avoid. You will be sliding everywhere if you go through too many of the puddles. So it's pretty much just um, scanning for water. Where is the lot of standing water? There's a big puddle on the left there. Probably not going to go there anyway. That's not really the racing line. A lot of contacts here. I've been pushed wide by the green car there. 
Uh, <laughs> this is like an online lobby actually, but this is not online. This is just single player AI driver tars. We've got a guy backwards there. He get, he's been bundled out of the way. It's a bit of it's a bit chaotic here. Actually, I'm going to nudge that guy out of the way as we come through the very middle of the infield now into quite a tight right hander, double right here to go through this one. Lots of puddles in the exit there. Don't want to go off there. Then you've got the second right hander here, a bit more, bit more faster. This or a bit faster that one. Probably could take that flat out in the dry, in the wet. Probably, maybe if you really got it exactly right, but. Um, I don't think I could have done it right there. Go for the lunge of the century there. The guy's quite compliant though, lets me through into 14th. Now coming back onto the oval here for a moment. So on the opposite side to the main straight. So coming into the last couple of corners here of the lap. A fast uh, sweeping left hander before we go into a 90 degree left or just under 90 degree left. And then you have a right left chicane which brings us back onto the oval so there's a massive puddle there you don't want to go through there and on the inside of that curb there's also a big puddle so plenty of puddles to watch out for uh, don't really want to go through those at all try to avoid those at all costs let's cross the line there let's go on to lap number two of five a very fast left hander that's going to be very tricky on lap one of online gameplay i can imagine uh, there's going to be very big pile ups there and I go off onto the grass and actually spin out. That's quite un how unforgiving these cars are, especially in the rain. So we are going to skip ahead here. Yes, please do save at that moment. I don't spin out very often, but I have there. So I did, um, I let everyone go in the race. So this is going to be the last lap. Had a couple of practice laps to myself without having any traffic in the way. Let's see what we can do around this track. A very fast flowing left hander to start off the lap as we go into turn number two. Get on the brakes quite uh, late for that one. A bit wide from the apex but taking the curb on the exit. Uh, getting in early for this one. The brakes not really that forgiving for me there. Still getting used to the car. I haven't uh, driven this car very much. Of course the uh, expansion pack has just been released. So please do forgive me. A uh, slight kink to the left there as we approach the middle straight here. One of the two middle straights. Getting over to the left hand side for the right hander. Braking nice and early for that one, although actually a little bit too late. It turns out, going wide towards the left here, watching out for the curb with the water on it, on the left hand side there. And also here, the curbs are quite nasty in the rain. You really don't want to touch them in any track really, including this one. Uh, they really do throw you about quite nastily. So massive puddle on the inside there. I do go through it, but I don't throttle too much, so I don't lose too much traction. You can do that go through the puddles without accelerating too much really depends on the puddle though and how fast you are going so into a fast uh, kink to the left here as we go back off of the oval back into the infield for the last section here a quick left here as we approach the final two turns on the circuit a right left chicane uh, getting the car nice and sideways through there I do like driving these cars actually they're very fun to drive and um, not really much of an oval driver Never really done it too much before, but driving it around this road course is actually really quite fun. I'm looking forward to do it online. So that is going to bring a close to the gameplay. That was the third in the world, although only out of 16 players. The leaderboard is not very populated at this early stage. But that is going to bring a close to this video. I hope you have found it informative and useful. Please do subscribe for more content just like this. Hit that like button if you did like this video. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.